SMS is a huge part of a multi-channel marketing strategy. And in this video, I'll show you how to use active campaign texting to unlock the SMS channel for you and your business. I'm Jason, growth specialist at Wildmail, where we help make active campaign even better for your based businesses. Let's check it out. So before we go over uh, how to set up the active campaign texting feature, let's talk about why we need SMS for a multi-channel marketing and sales system. So first, you're going to be able to reach customers where they want to communicate. So giving them the option of receiving texts via uh, versus other forms of communication and where their attention typically already is. And this only accelerated uh, with the pandemic. 85% uh, of customers prefer to receive a text message instead of a call or email. And our attention is on our uh, phones. Now, it's also uh, very good for time sensitive campaigns. And 90% of text messages are read within three minutes. So it's perfect for e-com flash sales, good for reminders for appointments. Um, and finally, it's an intimate channel. If someone gives you their phone number, uh, they're allowing you to contact them on a channel that is pretty guarded. Uh, if you think about where you've given up your phone number, it's not typically uh, something we want to share with companies unless we really are interested in hearing from that company and engaging with them. Uh, and the CTRs run as high as 30%. Uh, and above sometimes with uh, text marketing campaigns. So if someone has uh, offered up their, their phone number, it's a channel to uh, respect and to not abuse. And then you'll be able to, to reap the rewards uh, of that and build authentic relationships uh, and trust with your customers. So let's talk about uh, first how to set up a list with subscribe by SMS, which is the way you'll be able to collect new numbers. Um, first, a quick note, you can use the native feature, which I'll show you here. But there's also uh, very solid native integrations with other platforms or through Zapier. And you can use Twilio, ManyChat, Bulk SMS, et cetera. There are uh, many other platforms that you can use, um, but we're going to do it through ActiveCampaign uh, today. So, first, inside ActiveCampaign, we're going to go to Contacts. And if it's not open already, you can open up the uh, navigation menu here and go to Lists. Now, I've already created a list here but you would just go up to add a list, create a new list. And then over here in the right, select subscribe by SMS. You're going to choose a number for yourself. There are different numbers for us, Great Britain and Mexico. I'll just choose one here. And you want to choose a keyword that's short, memorable, um, and one that you can own yourself. So let's just say wild. Our company is wild mail. It does need to be five characters minimum. So we'll just say wild M for wild mail and hit activate. And if you look over here to the right, you'll be able to go through the three steps of the opt-in process. So Bob sends a text message to our number with the keyword wild M. Bob's going to receive a message back asking for his email address so that we can sync him uh, inside active campaign. And then Bob is going to reply with his email address, confirming his subscription to the list. Then you're going to customize the text that will be sent to your contact. So please text back your email address to subscribe to our list. And if I update it here, you'll notice that it updates it over here in the example as well. When they've successfully subscribed, you can update this message. And then also if they type back something that is not an email address, uh, you can adjust the uh, response for that. Once you do that, you can hit save settings. And now you have the ability to have someone text this phone number and opt in with the keyword wild M. The auto response will ask for their email. They'll share it and then they'll be subscribed to this list. And we do recommend that you create a separate uh, SMS list for your contacts. Now you can also import contacts or import their phone number from other platforms, third party integrations, et cetera. You'll need to start in the default uh, phone number custom field inside Active Campaign for it to be used in the platform. So if I go to this um, demo contact of myself, you can see in general details, first name, last name, email, and phone. This is the default. Um, and if you create a new custom field, it will not be able to be used or sent uh, SMS inside your automations, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do now. So now we're gonna go over how to send SMS using Active Campaign. A uh, quick note, there's a review process for first time senders. It can take up to two business days. Uh, so you don't wanna you know, try to squeeze this in for a last minute campaign. Make sure you have this set up. And um, there is a registration process if you're sending to US numbers. Um, there are also uh, quite a bit of rules and even laws um, 
that you want to review for your specific country and your contacts, wherever you're sending SMS to, you want to make sure that you abide by those rules. Um, this is you know, one area where legal action has been taken in the past against uh, companies who abuse SMS, and you just want to make sure uh, that you don't uh, you know, do anything um, that uh, violates those rules. So research that quickly. Um, it typically has to do with the days of the week that you're sending, the hours of the day that you're sending, uh, and explicit consent, which you do need to have explicit consent um, you know, for uh, people opting in and, and saying that they want to receive uh, text messages from your business. Um, but definitely check that out for your specific country and if you're in the US, your specific state. And you'll see here, if I go to settings, SMS manager, it's going to ask me to uh, complete an industry standard registration to protect consumers. So you'll have to go through and register for that and then get verified. Once you've set that up, we can go to automations and select the automation that you want to add the uh, SMS block into. So I already have one created for you. And then you would click plus and send SMS actions. So if I go into the automation here, uh, this is an SMS reminder automation for someone's personal training appointment. And as I mentioned, you can click the plus, sending options, send an SMS. Once you've registered and you choose the send SMS uh, action step here, you also need to purchase credits if you've run out of free credits. It's only available on specific plans. Um, and when you, you'll get a starting amount of free credits and then uh, have to switch to paid once you send out a certain amount of uh, text to your contacts. This here uh, is the action for when the person's personal training appointment is happening. So when we reach the state, you can see this trigger uses the date based custom field. You can actually get this here, this uh, setup in the recipes. Um, when you search inside automation, you create a new automation, you can find this recipe. And then it's for when the contact's next personal training session is. And then we're going to choose the send SMS block. You can see it here. You have 25 available SMS sending credits. And you also have to register here for sending to recipients within the US. So your sender name is required field. This is going to identify uh, your business to your recipients. So you can add this for SMS. This is our address. And if I go down and find the SMS sender name. You'll see again, it says identify yourself to recipients at the beginning of all outbound SMS messages. I would just say wildmail and hit save. And then I can go back into the automation. And now we've got the SMS sender name here. The recipient is the contact. You can use personalization tags. Just remember, um, it'll count towards a 160 character limit for the SMS message. So you're going to create your text and use personalization text if you want. And you can see it here. Don't forget about your personal training session today. Rem remember consistency is what leads to results. Uh, one of the key best practices is to try to personalize when you can. So I might say, Hey, first name. forget about your personal training session today. Remember consistency is what leads to results. Then you can choose the days that you'll send this and the hours that you'll send it in the contacts time zone. And again, this sometimes has legal implications depending on where you're sending from and who you're sending to, uh, as well as what they've opted in for. This again is a very intimate channel. Um, you don't want to be sending people SMS at 3 a.m. Uh, and you don't want to be sending it at 3 a.m. on a Sunday either. So just keep that in mind and uh, choose these settings appropriately and then hit save. And now whenever someone runs through this automation, their date is set for the personal training appointment. You can fire off this SMS and you can go through these same steps to include an SMS in any of your other automations with different triggers, et cetera, um, just by clicking again, the plus sending options and send an SMS. Now I mentioned for deliverability, uh, to personalize. It's also always good to give an option to opt out. Uh, there's also, again, legal implications for that, uh, at least for the initial message. Uh, you want to make sure that you have a reply stop to stop receiving messages. And if you want to be in the safe side, um, or depending on where you're sending from, your, where your business is registered and where your contacts are, uh, you want to make sure that you have that in every message. So it's very easy, very clear. Um, the last thing you want is someone reporting 
you know, your business for uh, spam via text message. And then avoid words and formatting that triggers spam filters. So capitalizing free with <laughs> nine exclamation points, uh, things like that. You don't want to do that. Um, it's, it's just best to be sh as short as possible, natural um, and personalized when you can. Um, and be straightforward about what you're you know, offering them or what you are uh, messaging them about and make sure that it's aligned with whatever they uh, agreed to opt in for. So that's it for active campaign texting, uh, adding SMS marketing for your multi-channel strategy. If you have any questions about SMS uh, or a multi-channel marketing strategy, feel free to drop them in the comments below and we'd love to help you get the most out of this active campaign feature.